Hello there. I'm starting a new base build today, and it's a bit of an unusual one, so I thought I'd share it. Now, it's unusual because the body of it's going to be made of pine, which dates from the 1840s. I got this from a salvage yard a couple of years back. And I bought the two huge 12 or 14 foot long boards uh, with the intention of building guitars out and basses out of. But this is actually the first thing I've done with it, uh, so I'm looking forward to getting started on this one. Uh, so the neck is also going to be salvaged with this cute mahogany. This was an old piece of furniture. It's probably also 100 years or more old. But being cute and mahogany, it's really good stuff. This is what we're going to be building with it. This is my Paradigm model, which is essentially a fee base, except it's going to be medium scale, and the body shape has been shrunk down to that. And the features are going to be a go-to bridge, a North Strand pickup, and we're going to have hip shot ultralight tuners to help with the balance. So here's a closer look at the pine. This piece here hasn't been planed yet, and this piece has, uh, so that will end up looking like this. Uh, all I've done so far is cut a bit off the width because I had some big nails going through here. I didn't want them going through the planer. And I've also chopped the length down to body blank sizes. The next job will be to plane them a bit more, get the same thickness, and then we're going to join them to make a two-piece body blank. And here's the mahogany. So not much to look at because this hasn't been planed at all yet, so it still just looks like an offcut of small wood. You can see it's quite rough. But looking down there, you can see the grain runs nice and straight through the whole thing. It doesn't run out, so it should be make a, a great neck. So the next job on this one will be plain, just playing the face of it and then put it through the thickness there. So both halves have been through the thickness of now, and I've also planed the joint here with the hand plane and got that a nice tight joint, so it's ready to be a body blank now. Okay, so I'll leave that now, 24 hours, and then I can take the clamps off and do any planing that's necessary, and then I can think about cutting out the body. attach my template with a couple of screws, one here which is going to be under the bridge and one up here which is in the neck pocket which will be cut away when I mill that. Uh, I've stayed about two or three millimeters away when I was cutting with the bandsaw uh, so I'm going to cut with this for that what's left and this is the three-quarter bit in the router and then I'm going to cut from the top around there with the bearing here widening against this 
and then I'll flip the body over and use a different bit with the bearing on the bottom of it to do the same from the other side. So I cut the body out with the router and then just to clean up the edges I followed up with the spindle sander or bobbin sander and then so now it's nice and clean edges. So up next I will do the neck pocket and then we can start doing the other cavities as well. So next we're going to cut for the neck pocket. Now you can see I've got my template already attached here and then to determine the depth of how, how deep we need to cut this we need to take the height of our bridge with its saddle at the lowest setting, so it's 12 millimeter, and, and subtract that off the neck thickness at the t at the edges where the E strings will be, or where the G string and the E string will be. So this is 25 and a half. I haven't got the flex in this yet. Uh, that'll be an extra millimeter, so it'll be 26 and a half. So that means we need 14 and a half. I'll probably do 14 to make sure. It's definitely don't never run out of adjustment and then we can cut for that now. Uh, this is the neck by the way, uh, you can see the other video for this, I'm doing another video on that and it should be out at a similar time to this one. So we can go for a test fit now. There we go, nice and tight. No slop at all on the joint. So now we can do a pickup template and we're out and our control cavity. And uh, the reason I like to do those after the neck is just in case you get this, the tiniest bit off center. If you have a slight angle in it, then your pickup's not going to line up with the strings. So I always like to do the neck pocket first. So now it's the same sort of process for the pickup. I've actually drilled some of this out with a force and a bit already on the drill press. Uh, just to make it a bit easier, a bit less to do with the router. Um, this is, the depth of this is normally 16 millimeter for precision pickup. Uh, I tend to go a bit bit less, it'll be 14 because you never need to go that low with the pickup. Um, so that works for me. So I've done the pickup cavity now and I'm going on to the control cavity. Uh, you'll notice I've done it a bit differently as in the screws here instead of tape as usual. That's because these screws are going to go go into the exact hold where the pick guard's going to go into. So this is a good way of making sure everything stays lined up. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do this now and then that'll be the final cavity for the body and then we can move on to the contours. So that's the cavity done now. Uh, you can start to see how it's going to look. And here's the pit guard. Uh, this is the template for it. Uh, this is probably going to be black, but I might change my mind on that. Um, and then so I'm going to end this video now and split it into two parts. The next part will have the carving of the contours and the finishing and the pit guard making. And, and maybe assembly too. Um, you can also see my other videos for the neck of this build. I'm filming all of that as well. So make sure you subscribe and you can watch the whole process. Uh, thank you very much for watching.